So welcome back Mushroom Legacy into another episode of Ranking with Mushroom Legacy. So what it is, is it's a concept where I created a space tour and we play only Peach, Daisy and Rosalina. So we are into the Ocean Tour into week 2 today and we have a new ranking. So let's see what we have to do. We have still the Watermelon card we can get and we see a top 1000 badge in first place. So 85k this is what we need to beat. So we have uh, Baby Park R, we have Singapore Speeder 2T, we already know we have a driver here, and Daisy Cursor T. So do we have do we have top shot or not? This is what we're gonna see. Also, we're gonna play two times each track. So and then we're gonna keep the better result. And if you like this type of content where you I showcase my uh, drivers and my into every single week to see like what is to be in my shoes for one week. So if you like those type of content, make sure to subscribe and like the videos. I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers. We are, we passed 600 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. And let's start right now. So baby park are the first track and we have uh, Dr. P. So that one, we already knew we have a top shelf since uh, the other time, uh, the when the baby parking came out into the cat tour, so I already knew I have a very nice driver here, so that's nice. So, do we have a card? Ooh, so the streamliner, so the lightning streamliner got a buff into this one, so very nice showcase in the ranking. And we have my new tropical balloon in level four here, so that's a very nice setup. Let's go, very nice setup. Um, so baby park R. Uh, you have five laps to do. Uh, there's a, 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 a boost panel at the end. And also this one have uh, some jump boost. So this is only one item per lap. So in order to have a good score here, we have five item maximum. So if you really want to have the best run here, uh, I think, oh wow, 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 we got sniped. By my favorite items, the bubble cannon. I love to be sniped by that. Oh, do two boost panel. Okay, so two boost panel. Uh, we have a couple of jumps, and then we have one item per lap. So the more lap we're gonna go, the more the chance you're gonna increase the frenzy. Oh wow, we start pretty good here with a coin frenzy. Maybe that can be the starting of the run. I don't know. Maybe if I don't need to grind strike again. I already knew I would not have any frenzy. So one, like I said, one items per lap. Okay, so keeping combos. Keep the combos. Super one frenzy. So this is not the ideal run. So here the best run could be like uh, one mushroom frenzy and a coin frenzy that could really do it. So 29,000 for the first attempt, but we have a very nice frenzy. So a coin frenzy. Always the best. So that's the attempt number one. And we are back into 12th place. So we're getting closer to uh, the um, 85k. And Gorgana87, this is one of my uh, subscribers and friends. So we are playing against my friend for the first time into, uh, into ranking. So that's really interesting. I never have any friend. <laughs> Who I could like actually talk and race so yeah good luck to you my friend and I already talked to him and we are not into the same tier or the same uh, ranking or same 20 people so that's quite surprising but at least gonna have some fun and the best win attempt number two so this is attempt number two for baby part I don't know if we're gonna get a nice frenzy here I love this card. I really love this card. So here, I don't think there's any strategy to go for, except you, if you want a really good score, uh, I think I recommend to go for first lap frenzy and probably go for. Depend of if you have PD. I think PD have this track. Oh wow. I think PD have this track. So if you go for a premium skill, obviously um, it would be boomerang here. It's a nice try for boomerang. I don't know if they have any. Uh, second shell coin box here but 
still a nice a nice track because if you do a boomerang you can have a lot of coin from around the courses so that's pretty good we have 22k so the first track was definitely good definitely that was a good run but it's not that great for me, but we're gonna take it. So, now we're gonna go for the Singapore Speedway 2T. We already know we have a Rosanna Swimwear, and we have also the Silver Beast that we can use, but we're gonna go for Coin Box, and my beautiful Flory Bad Wagon. So, the, the, the one I uh, made some investment, and we have the Black Great Cell, or the Glidium Parasol. But I think the, um, the Black Great Cell would be a better, um, for us for Rinky because uh, the other one has Super Horn so you have a lot of chance to get Super Horn in first place compared to the Black Ray Cell it's a bullet bill so you better have a chance to not having like a good items or you, you, you will never see a bullet bill oh no well that's gonna be interesting as a track for coin box I'm getting all my luck here right look like Normally you don't have those frenzy like very fast, but uh, I guess in videos it's we have something good. Oh, I, I missed that one. Gonna lose combo. Yeah, we did lose combo at 55. That track is very nice. I don't think that's gonna be. I don't think that's gonna be a very nice track for uh, for coin box. Uh, I think the extra action will be way better than a non uh, in, in, into other drivers, but. This is not the best for coin boxing. Okay, I think we can go here, taking the ramp. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh! I don't know where I did go. Okay, so we go here. I like those a little, like, ramp here. Oh, wow! That luck. Very nice luck, look like. So coin frenzy. Okay, gonna finish the line. I have some very decent score. Impressive score, twenty-eight thousand. Nice. So coin box frenzy, which uh, uh, it which is was at the wrong place, and coin frenzy. Okay. Cool. An upgrade, and we are. 8th place, so we are very getting close to the other person here. So second attempt for Singapore. So let me know the comment. Do you prefer Singapore or do you prefer the new Daisy? Let me know. Uh, personally, I think both. Uh, I like both. I like the music of Singapore. Singapore is like very, very fun music. I really enjoy uh, listening to that music and grinding on those tracks. And then uh, Daisy Cruiser is like my, oof, one of my favorite track of uh, of the GameCube era. So I'm really like loving those tracks. I have a good time. I have a good time. Um, I'm very happy with the investment I made so far into this tour. So I hope you have a great tour. Uh, and if you're grinding for ACR, which is all cup ranking, hopefully, you, hopefully you did ring ranking. Oh, so speaking of ranking, I can. Um, so into the week one, uh, we did win the ranking uh, by 113k. So we did a lot of. Uh, we did a lot. A very, very good score. Uh, the second person was at. I did not really move. I think he stayed at 68,000. So that was a very, very good lead. And we just stick in first. So that was amazing. And hopefully here we can get a top three. Hopefully a top two. I really, really want to get the the six uh, cap tickets because they are really like give me like uh, one item to single cap to double cap already with six uh, tickets rather than five. But we'll see how it gonna goes. Yeah, this is not the best track for coin boxing. This is not a great. So here, um, I think like if you go for coin box, uh, it's it's just give you getting you extra um, action counts. But here, there's not much um, you can do. This is pretty straightforward. I don't think you have any uh, tricks into this one. 
So we complete the challenge, okay. Rocket star. Nice. And now we are into the last track, uh, Daisy Cruiser T, and we have three Mushroom Legacy. So this is very friendly for me. Uh, two week, both week and uh, week one, week two for Mushroom Legacy. So this is very nice. Giant Banana, of course. We have the um, the Jumping Boost um, Flower Card. So Flower Card is very important here because it's a T track. T track. Uh, I would get more point if I'm using a Jump Boost special. Um, cards than uh, uh, the other one so that's why we choose that one so that really helped like every like uh, extra like let's say like 10 or 20 point really adds up like the more jumps you take it gives you like way more action uh, way more action and we already know T-Track is uh, very good for getting a lot of jump boost so it's really more fun to do so here giant banana and also this uh, Dizzy Cruiser track is very perfect for Giant Banana. So this is almost a premium skill you can have here. Uh, because the uh, the enemy is very close and this track is don't have a lot of space to run against. So they don't have they don't have mini pads. And then if you do like your giant banana, it would be very very effective. So this is a very wonderful track for doing that. Lucky Simon could be also be good as well. But I think Giant Banana here is really like easy done um, for the number of action you need. So, and I think it's I don't know maybe it's like I think Lucky Seven and Giant Banana are both the same in terms of grinding. They don't need more skill than others, but uh, in Giant Banana you can just be in first place and get your Giant or your items compared in Lucky Seven if you want to have double Lucky Seven. You need probably like seventh place and fourth place where you can get those. Compared to here, just front running, so you can have access to coin frenzy or just one giant banner frenzy, coin frenzy, and reset. So this is a very wonderful track for for this. Okay, we complete three challenge here. Speaking of banana, we got the check mark for that one. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you for this more challenge and we're gonna have the last track coming up the beautiful the princess orange badge okay cool and we are back in fourth place already okay very nice so we're gonna need to definitely grind those tracks um i don't think we have the i don't know if we have the best loadout um, hopefully we do, and hopefully the other one is done doing um, his rank. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't. Know, I don't know if we're gonna make. A, if I can not make any investment into this, um, since I already made my investment for this tour, hopefully I don't need to make more extra investment. But. We'll see when we're gonna be at the end. I'm like I know. Uh, like I'm pretty sure the. Um, all the three track can be like way more improvable, so there's no issue there. Uh, first track can be very well more done with another coin frenzy, more actions, uh, and then we this one can be way more upgrade as well. So we need to get the giant banana frenzy, which is gonna have more points. So I think we can go to probably like 90k. 90k would be like very doable, maybe like 95k at the max. But I think that would I hope that would be enough. For sure I if I don't win the ranking, that's okay. I'm gonna go for second place. Um, we cannot win them all, but uh, pretty sure it would be a tier up for us and hopefully not a tier down. But with the loadout we have we have two drivers to level six and one driver to level four. I don't think we're gonna tear down. There's yeah, we're gonna not tear down. So that's the last attempt you guys for this episode so like i said let me know in the comment what do you think about those track and also if you're um a well cover for this week so this is um i wanted to show you like what is to be for me into this week and so far this tour is pretty much be a mushroom legacy member because all those track have 
nice coverage and we don't need to play some Mitchell. So that's really very cool. So make sure to subscribe, like and comment the video if you really help me out. Uh, I, re I really appreciate everything you guys doing and hope you did enjoy this episode of Ranking with Mushroom Legacy. On that, I will see you for this episode into another tour. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.